Propeller Diameter and Pitch, a rough guide to choosing the right propeller for your boat. Another tutorial brought to you by Marine Education and Instructor Resources. There are a few obvious considerations to make when choosing a new propeller. The engine type, horsepower rating, the weight of your boat, the type of hull you have, and if you do have your current prop, the number of blades it has, the diameter and its pitch. There are two sizes that describe a prop. These are diameter and pitch. Diameter is the distance in inches across the circle made by the blade tips as the propeller rotates. Pitch is the distance in inches that the prop moves forward with each 360 degree revolution. This is assuming there is no slip. The effects this can have are increased or decreased boat performance, acceleration, torque and top speed. The uh, propeller pitch is the number of inches the prop moves forwards through the water in one revolution. It has the greatest prop effect on your boat. The steeper the angle, the greater the pitch. And pitch affects RPM level. When you have a prop with a high pitch, you generally have reduced RPM, a higher top end speed. And this is similar to low bike gears that are harder to pedal at first, but eventually achieve higher speeds. With a low pitch propeller, you have increased RPMs, which improves the whole shot. And this is similar to high bike gears that are easier to pedal at first, but won't achieve high speeds. We've mentioned whole shot a few times already, and I thought it was worth clarifying what this actually means. Basically, it's when you go from neutral to a wide open throttle, the time it takes you to get out of the hole and up onto the plane. A few bits of terminology for you. A whole shot is rapid acceleration from a stop position. Kick down is rapid acceleration from a position when you're already in motion. And WOT, or what, is a term used in the marine industry, meaning wide open throttle. Things that affect the whole shot are hull shape, engine type, propeller type. For example, if you have a cathedral shaped hull uh, with a propeller with multiple blades, i.e. more than three, you're likely to get up onto the plane and have a quicker hull shot than a vessel with a deep V hull and three blades. Prop slip is a measure of how efficiently the boat is going through the water. If the prop did not slip at all as it screws through the water, each rev theoretically propels the boat forward a distance equal to the prop pitch. For example, a 15 inch prop theoretically propels the boat 15 inches in one revolution. Due to prop slip, however, the boat is actually going slower than the theoretical speed. This is normally approximately 10 to 20% slower at top speed for fast boats. The rule of thumb when measuring pitch is the higher the pitch, the faster the top end speed, but the lower the revs, whereas the lower the pitch, the faster the acceleration and the higher the revs. Propeller diameter is the distance across a circle swept by the tips of the blades. Uh, it generally correlates to size of boat and engine. The choice of propeller diameter depends on the type of boat again and the type of engine. So if you have a small diameter propeller, these are linked to low weight boats, uh, those with low engine mounting height, or if you're looking at a high performance race boat. Alternatively, if you have a heavier weight boat or a higher engine mounting height, then you're looking at it for a large diameter propeller. If you get the incorrect diameter, for example, too small, you'll find that you're underpowered with an increased RPM. If you go for a too big diameter, you'll find that you have increased resistance and decreased RPM. Cupping of the prop is when the trailing edge of the propeller blade is upturned. Uh, this helps reduce cavitation. The number of blades you choose really depends on whether you're driving a recreational or high performance boat. Uh, the standard is three blades, which means you have a slightly higher top end speed. Uh, the boat takes longer to plane uh, and it's slightly cheaper versus the four or five blade props, which have a faster hole shot, better holding in rough seas, they're better at low speed handling and they have a better performance in the mid range RPM. Choosing your propeller is also very activity dependent. For example, if you're into water skiing or wakeboarding, you'd choose a low pitch propeller with four or five blades. 
Whereas if you're into performance racing, you'd be looking at something with a high pitch cupping and a smaller diameter. The two most common types of propeller materials we come across are aluminium and stainless steel. The first aluminium is generally painted with a protective coating. They're cheaper. Uh, you can buy them more often and they are repairable, but every repair will cause them to suffer loss of strength versus a stainless steel, which has improved performance due to thinner blades. It lasts approximately five times longer than aluminium. They don't flex under pressure and they are repairable with no loss of strength. If you'd like to see any further tutorials or you're interested in courses or training, please visit our website at marine-education.co.uk. Alternatively, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter.